Good morning. Let's see, we've got molds. And after Christy's talk, I want to get psychoanalyzed. And I don't feel bad about it, I really do. We've got corn, and I'm not going to go there. So, uh, I'm here this morning to talk about this topic. Formatting. <laughs> How formatting relates to my journey of learning that brought me here. Some questions about formatting. And I'm still wrestling with these. But what is formatting? What does it mean to me? What do I use it for in my teaching and in my learning? Mm, what does it do to me? These are all questions that I've got in my mind. And some of my answers so far have been, well, you know, formatting is something that happens secondarily. Like, the big things are really important are learning intentions, right? Content, that's the meat, right? Don't ask me what content really is. But as a teacher, I used to treat content, learning intentions as the big thing. And things like formatting, design, sort of like a dessert you have after you get the main work done. I don't think the same way anymore. And I want to tell you why. All of us here have probably helped or ourselves been involved in making some sort of design project, maybe a web page, maybe an infographic. So I want you to picture in your mind the absolutely worst, the most horrendously designed or formatted or laid out kind of thing that you've seen or you've made or you've had a student submit to you. Please, take a second. Then think about how that formatting fits into your rubrics, right? How do you value it? What sort of uh, price you put on it? In January this year, I got an email from Learning2, and they said, hey, congratulations, we're considering you to be a Learning2 leader. And I thought, yes! And then I thought, I have no idea how to do this. And then I thought, oh my god, I said yes. And I freaked out, and I didn't do anything for a long time, I didn't produce anything. Um, because I thought of myself, and this is the big confession, okay? I'm, I'm not a learning to leader. I am not a learning to leader. But why did I think that? Well, if you go to the learning to page today, I hope some of you are going to be in my workshop. But uh, yeah, this is what you're going to see. Man, it looks great. Let's take a look at it. There I am, Mr. D, a little bit mysterious name. Cool title. You know, got a little video here. There's a description. Look, there's Kim and all the awesome people up there. I got to know them over the past couple days. And all this great content. The content is awesome, right? Really good content. And that's the final product. But what's the first thing I sent? The very first thing I sent to the L2 committee that's going to choose me. That's what I sent. Can I toggle back and forth? Notice anything weird? Yeah, I formatted it. Um, and actually, the formatting I did I didn't think of any content first, like when I got the email and I thought, oh my God, what am I going to do? I didn't think of any content and I just got the font and I got the little picture and I got the yellow color and I stole the thing off the web page. And I said, I'm going to make myself look like a learning to leader. Yeah. And then Kim and everybody gave me great, I sent it in like that. And when they opened up the mail, they were like, okay, learning to is going to take care of the formatting. We'll handle the colors. Why don't you work on the content? Make it a little more approachable. I want to make it actionable, things that people can do in the classroom the next day. Um, and I did that because I'm here, right? Yeah. Um, none of us here are a blank page. None of us, okay? There's formatting that the world did to you, you were born into. Uh, there's formatting that other people do to you. I actually was asked last week, why are you going to learning to as a leader? How did that make me feel? Not that good, but I got over it because I've got all these great support from you guys and also the learning to leaders. So they help me format. And then finally, there's formatting that I do to myself, right? Like my own doubts, my own insecurities, and my own like strengths. I can positively reformat myself from that to that, right? <clears throat> okay, so that's my message for you today. 
I want you to kickstart your learning, okay, by disruptively learning how to reformat yourself. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. Just lead yourself forward to learning by creatively reimagining and reformatting yourself. Thank you.